Hi, and welcome to Nippon Nippon Cafe. I'm your host, Alice Dragon, and I'm here with another Final Fantasy XIV. I am trying out a different layout for how I see who is watching and how things are with chat and such so I can give you a bigger picture in my feed instead of I will still respond to you and everything but currently I'm going to attempt to have a full screen so you guys have a bit a better picture um, if anyone ever pops in um, just give me I don't know a hello <laughs> I don't know who's in right now, <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, did you take that part off though? Hmm? Or not? Okay. It's still there. All right. Awesome. So I apologize if things are not smooth. S as smooth as they usually are. I'm really trying, guys trying hard to to give you a better feed currently we do not have the extra stuff or the financials to make it any better than it is currently but I am trying so I apologize if things don't look uh, this is the, the conversation I feel like that needs to be fresh that is That's the chat. Those that are the one walls. is? Okay. Alright. So we got Orange Juices here with us. Uh, and just give you a shout out, I guess, if you feel as if this is do, um, does well for you. If And if, I don't know, if you think it needs to be done a little better or anything of sort. Alright, let's go ahead and pop that dungeon and see if we can actually do it. Now that it's a little later, we're more likely to get a better group. At least, don't, don't quote me on that. I can't really say if that will actually happen, but we can only hope. Oh, and I was about to start crocheting, but the uh, the nincompoop orange juices here told me, Let, hey, you want to stream? I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it's his fault. It's his fault that I'm not working on the crochet for this thing. Um, a, a heads up, guys. We have finally hit 20 followers. Great news. We are actually going to start our giveaway here. I will give you all the details because I want to start working a little better on the tech side of our streams this Sunday. Um, we're also going to be playing D&D &D with some of my friends and who are originally Orange Justice's friends and I joined in with our D&D &D group. So I am attempting that. I wasn't feeling well yet last week so I was I had to skip out. Sad. So in the end, I won't be here tomorrow, but I will be here Monday, and most of the details for the giveaway are going to be on Monday. So please, 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 if you watch my videos, and if you know anyone who watches my videos, give them a heads up. On Monday, I'm giving explicit details about how you are will win this thing, how you get your name into the pot, and how you can win one of the giveaways so you got to jump in on Monday and get the details and that's basically it I'm I'm just gonna leave it at that so we can get into the story and get into the play, um, playing so that I don't have to be talking about these nitty-gritty details and boring you I love this name of this thing. It's called the Drowning Winch. It's so silly. I accidentally stole that name. How did you steal that name? I was trying to think of a good name for a pub in D&D. And I thought of Drowning Winch. I was like, oh, that's perfect. That's a good name. And <laughs> Kevin was like, really? No. I did that before. I made a whole D&D campaign based 
on Oblivion, and I didn't realize it. It would be kind of fun having a Demon D and D game that's all based on Final Fantasy XIV. You know, I would play it. Now you confuse me, because when I think of Brom RPG, the first thing I'm thinking about is the video game with controllers or yeah, PC. Oh, okay, yeah. I've actually did that. I used to play Guy Online. If any of you guys are like fans of Guy Online, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But I used to do RPGs on there, and I had probably like three names, and just because I guess I was pretty bored. I don't know. It, it's one part of my life where I was more a, <laughs> a brat of my life, so I, I can point out that I, I love my life now, and I've learned a whole lot more down the line of how not to be. <laughs> so here I am, just running around, chatting, talking to you guys. Okay. <sighs> Wait, I got mail. Did you send me something? No. Or is... Is, um... We're gonna have to start calling them by their... Must have to start coming... Well, I mean, that's how I started doing it with yours, yours too. No, he's Leo. He's gonna be Leo. And... Laurentius can be... I don't know, otherwise we'd be calling him Lauren. <laughs> or we could call him Ward. We can call him Ward. Because that's his last name's character. See, that's basically how, for the longest time, when we started moving in and dating, uh, I could not call Orange Juice is here by his real name. I had to call him Mel. And even talking to him and calling him his real name felt really weird. And even though he was able to move over to it real quick, his mother used to give me the weirdest looks. And if you ever watch this stream, I, I swear, Marie, I love you dearly, but I, but I, <laughs> I cannot deny the fact that I felt like you looked at me weird every time I would not say his name and kept calling him Mel. <laughs> um, you guys will actually see it later. His name was Mel Melly Melny. Mel I said that. Being a dork. Yeah, well, I dare. Deal with it, bucko. Hey, no sexual harassment here. Okay. <laughs> You're the one who started it. I'm going to go to Gold Saucer and get some, uh, rid of some of these cards. Air conditioner fear is really good right about now. So happy we have that thing up and not that big, huge one. Yeah, that one sucks. Uh huh. Especially when, um. That's what I said. Especially since you, it's more likely we can clean it up and not have a problem with it, like, spilling anywhere and damaging something when there's just a concrete floor underneath that. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to find that one spot. Oh, we didn't do the jumping game! Or, you know, the one in Golden Saucer. That one's fun. Where is... Well, it's random every time. It's but it's so fun. Yeah. Maybe there's more. Like, way more than this, though. So that would be fun. Alright, so I gotta talk to the bunny girl. Oh my gosh, I got a Rita Tin Boss or Sauce Arvina card. I only got one though. Not big. I get a lot more uh, MGP when I sell that junk. What? I don't know, but... Hey, I got all these cards. They're not going to let me get rid of them. My brother, like that. That 
Oh, that. They won't let me sell them. I guess so, because I'm not keeping them. You can't discard them. What? They might be have been the cards that you first get. I was just trying to get rid of the and the quest. Yeah, if I get extras, it's usually when I you get extras. Um, I also make sure to put stuff in the chest if you get extra gill. Because eventually we do want to get like a mansion. All right, guys, let's play some cactpot. Wrong one. He's the information person. Smart. Here you go, mini cactpot broker. All right, let's see what guys. Let's try this out. Now remember how. You're supposed to do it. Um, all right, so I need to get the right it's nine. Oh, yeah, I know. I need to be going into ones that are like the lowest. So, ooh, 360. That's not bad. And I got an achievement. Hmm. I'm gonna go with that one. Oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, honey, thank you. I wish. Can you imagine that? That was that's what's not fair. You, you got stuff in your eyelashes. Yeah, wash your face better. Yeah, and I know what I'm gonna buy too. Who's? Oh, okay. Okay, what I I'm gonna go for the two. Wait, I can go corner. Should I go that way? Or should I go bottom? What do you think? Should I go like flip a coin, heads is uh corner? Top right? Ooh. Yeah, but at least I get three day. I'm gonna go check and see how much it costs for that one thing. Modern aesthetics. This one is. Then they usually tell you. It says adventure. All right. It's invisible. Remember? Is it? Yeah. By do not know. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> Alright, what's number twos? There's supposed to be a place that you can actually get that one. Is it the... I don't know if it's the MGP exchange. Yeah, that's... Yeah, right there. Yeah, 
Yeah. Where? Uh, whoa! Oh, that! <laughs> Dang, I didn't want to save. I wanted just to do that and turn. There you go. It doesn't look like anything except for like squiggles and maybe. I don't know. Trench harpoon. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted the... There, there. There it is. Oh, no. It sucks. What's that, though? Oh, I want that one. That's cute. You hear yourself at all? No. Do you think you have yourself muted? How about now? Therein lies the problem. I don't hear it echoing though, this time. Uh, you need the blue one. Yeah, you need the blue one. Oh, this is the one I do like. Do you have it set? I don't have you muted. Does it have a turn on and turn off button? Even down here? This one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were you had your mic off. Jeez. I don't know. Give me a sec, on guys. Gonna, the feed will probably get cut. Hopefully not. I'm gonna check this thing. All right, so it's still working. Wait. See, it's it's noticing you now. You're just, really, really You're just really, really quiet. How about now? Uh, there you go. How's that? Are you hearing yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you hearing yourself? Very low. Yeah. Uh, and your mic is all the way up. Yeah. Yeah, I have it set to share. Apologize, guys. I'm trying to figure and figure this out. I don't understand. Uh, he probably just has a bad headset. The only good one we have is his, and I'm borrowing it right now. What, are you gonna use the pink one? It might work.
Oh, it's 30. 30,000, that sucks. I gotta mute myself. I was hearing myself on the thing. I, oh, I can't hear and stand the echo of myself. I mean, I, I don't mind listening to myself when I replay it. I don't really care for hearing myself over the sound. It just... Ugh. Check the, uh... You went down that fast? Oh my goodness, that was fast. Can't breathe now, but yeah. <laughs> he ran. I didn't run. Fat. You're fat. You are not just fat, you just gotta go on... extra. Big bone. Big bone. Where is that room? Did I go in the wrong spot? Oh, there it is. There's a little copper you can make. Does it have a mute though? Hello. 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 Yeah, yeah now I'm. Now I, now I come through. But now it's ending. Can you hear you? Yeah. The computer. Now turn yeah. off the computer. Ah, ah. How about now? Sounds fine. Sounds fine. Okay. okay. Then that's good. Perfect. Well, because we can see it still didn't pop. <laughs> I can hear what? that. I can do another one. I think we'll pop faster if you're a healer, honey. I want to be a healer. And now I have to. Now I have to cancel and redo it. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get ourselves a dag on mic. Yeah. I'll have to come when we can actually start doing subs and stuff, though. And I guess I was wrong. I was expecting it to go now. What's going on up here? Look at this guy. What is that chocobo wearing? Oh, the Ix... The Ixion thing. Look at him. When he's got... Oh, he's a blue mage. He's not bad. He's a blue mage. He just did his ten a thousand spikes. You need to go and change your audio down. That picks too up. too loud. Yeah, especially yeah, since it's um, picking me up too much. Okay. <coughs> uh, how about now? Good. Yeah. Okay. If you guys are willing to post and see him see if just make sure um, it does it sound like it's echoing at all for you guys I'm um, hoping not Oh yeah 
They've got some mini games in this. It is a lot of fun if you guys ever want to attempt them. Um, I'll try them out for you guys and let you see what they look like, especially as a someone who does like the gathering skills. It's a lot of fun. You already lost 3,000 GP. Found it. This is a great time killer, and I love playing this game. I didn't understand that. So it like doubles down every time you play this game. So if you ever come to this game and play it, it, as long as you can get it in the certain amount of time, see, which is, says 38 seconds left, if you keep going and you get the payout fast enough, you can get double over and over and over again to the point that you start getting more money, and it's a pretty fun game. Ooh, I got an excellent there. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And there goes, I got 500 MGP, and as long as I go, and you have eight seconds left. I go no, and then I got 500 right there. And you just got 1500 too. You just got another 1500. Yep. And you go to currency, check how much you got, and you got 14. Didn't you start at 15? Bought some outfits. Ah. Crab. You imagine a crab that big? You know how good they would take. <laughs> you got a claw the size of your head. Yes, Dang. please. All my time there. Oh no! Games are rigged. Literally unplayable. <laughs> Shut up. Literally. Who is an excellent? This time I'm not doubling down. I think we got, oh, we got two. We got two DPS, one healer, one tank. You think we should do a party finder for this? I don't know, sometimes I think we should. I found that. What was the reward? You 
kind ways? of achievement is that? I found that. Another one! Fourteen hundred. Ten thousand experience too. Awesome. I love this thing, it's such a good time geller. Awesome. I don't have switch pads. I never got that one. Okay. I get to see in a bigger screen, it's a lot easier to win it. I don't know why it defaults to that. Defaults to what? Taking the good core, like, big chunk of the screen out. I did, I always thought I needed to have that up. I want to get the capture card so we can find, have it like popping up in the corner or something. A lot better than. Oh, there it is! Yay! Finally, guys. Took a while, but we're getting into it. Come on, deeps. Come on, deeps. I don't know what to do. I've never, I've never tanked a thing with two tanks before. Well, just say I'm not doing main or something. Actually, don't even do that. Just allow the other guy to take control. And remember, it does not allow you to cutscene. If you guys haven't watched this before, a lot of people used to get, go ahead of the new players and cut get them stuck outside of the fight. So they made it to where you couldn't cut the scene, at least in this little strip of game, basically. So it's understandable why they don't let you cut the, the scenes. Try and read it fast. So here we are. The ultimate weapon will almost certainly be housed in the depths of the complex. When I think of salute, I don't think of touching my heart really softly. Like you, like jerk him up to your head or something. This is it, my friend. Maybe I will have to, like, maybe tomorrow, after, we can just set up the downstairs as my streaming area so that 
when we do this, we won't have an echo one way or another. Well, wait, I can't do that until we get a mount. A PV mount? Oh, that was stupid. You are so gonna be wasting MP for doing that. not doing nothing but trying to attack. Great, my regen is not in the place I was expecting it to be. Oh, Imperial Identification. What I laugh about is that a lot of these people will be like, I need this night. Hey, why aren't you listening to me? Why we need to do this? If they complain of it, <laughs> they gotta realize that they went to a Japanese server. There are Japanese people here. <laughs> Not everyone's going to understand you. They better understand How dare they? How dare they not speak my language? I'm from America. Are you free? Yeah, you're in America, speak in America. Oh wait, we're on in America. We're in Japan. Oops. Didn't they just, didn't everybody just run through this part and not fight anybody? Yeah. My chat isn't working right. Why is that? I didn't see what that guy was talking about. Gaius. Ah, Sid, my boy, you are late. There is something I always meant to tell you, yet the time never seemed right. It concerns your father. One of him. In the winter of his years, Midas came to ab uh, abhor his part in Meteor. He told me that he wanted nothing more than to wash sands of the whole sordid business. But he did not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project until the day it, it killed him. 
come now, Sid. You must know that he did not have the luxury of choice. By the time you realized his error, it was too late. Meteor had him completely in his thrall. Surely before his transformation, mayhap sensing that something was ominous, your father confided to me all the regrets of his life. Most of them concerned you. Early on in your career, he realized that while you had a talent for devising armaments, it would never fulfill you. Long before you knew your own mind, he saw that you would be far happier using your knowledge for peaceful purposes, and the thought touched him he was a changed man for it. Though he could not let it show. You blew holes in this place just so you could say this to me? What is it you want, Gaius? I want you at my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. It is your destiny. Oh, I love it how they say that crap. My father had a change of heart, you said so yourself. Besides, I have long known my identity, and I assure you, it lies not with the Empire. Sid, I am your father. A pity. <laughs> and what of your adventure will you not consider making? Oh. Will your powers no, join me, mine? We might do much for this realm together. We could bring order to Eorzea, usher in a lasting peace. No, and I can expect no better answer than this. So be it. It was your strength that made me proffer my hand in friendship, and it is your strength that makes me proffer now my blade. Save as an ally, you are too dangerous to be let to remain. Run, Sid, or stay. It makes no matter. You cannot escape the pass. Gaius, wait. Damn it. Sorry, I didn't say that when I should have because um, I was uh, my mic was off. The person actually said, uh, "Do you speak Japanese, or are you Japanese?" One of the two. Knowing Gaius, he is headed for the ultimate weapon. If we find him soon, so too will something something. <laughs> With this instrument, we can monitor every nook and cranny in the castrum. I think it's time we would divide our forces. Pray go on and give chase. I'll track your movements from here and guide you through the complex. We'll stay in contact via Link Pearl. Be careful. when I need it. <laughs> Watch the black mage do that full move? Oh no, a white mage could do that full move. <laughs> Is that a level 70 skill? You pull them towards you?
na o sistema Really? Who did that? I bet it was a Tonberry guy. I'm coming back down. Um, who was the one who says who had the question? Who is the Japanese? Time when I kind of wish I could. Uh, At least they all waited for us. So say thank you. Mm -hmm. Your old friend Maggie, was it? They must have shipped here. Considering all she's been through, it's a wonder she's so operational. Tough old girl. Figure out my chat window. Hmm? I gotta figure out my chat window because I'm not seeing any of anything that anybody's typing. It's that's because you got all your battle tech on it. I, I don't see anything. I didn't see that thing you just did. I still remember saying that because I said it in a chat before. Basically just means I learn Japanese. Not the best way. Problem I have is I can't do the party chat and I have that and so it ends up as a say. You can't do party check? Oh. <sighs> I need to learn more. Really need to be studying every day.
You'll need to divert all power to the magic tech cannon, so as I did. Uh, as you may recall, the armor's core is like to expire from the strain, but there's no help for it if we want to press on. You guys should be able to um, read it. I'm sorry if I can't say I'm say it all. It's going way too fast. I have a feeling they've changed some things. I don't remember our people ever showing up in the cutscene. I did. When, I mean, in the older ones? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. You're natural at this, all right, the way's clear, but it's just you and your own two feet for now, so be careful. So small. <laughs> They're saying look it up on Google. <laughs> Google Translate is probably what that says. Friday face, Friday face. No, it's probably I'm trying them saying that I'm just looking it up on Google. You have been leaving a fine mess in your wake adventure. Carlond, old friend, how it warms the heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Nero, is that you? You sound well, it would seem this savage land agrees with you. Highest ranking tribunus of the 14th. It was you all this time? Tell me, Garland, how long do you intend to keep all the glory for yourself? Uh, what? You've lost me. I mean, I would be like that. Don't play the fool with me. Ever since the Academy, I have been condemned to live in your shadow. By all objective measure, I was the more talented of the two of us, yet that fact con counted for naught. Besides your privileged birth, you were admired as a young prodigy simply because your father was the great Midas non Garland. Midas? Oh my gosh. Yes, he has the golden touch. When you defected, I felt... Uh, whatever. You guys read it. I'm <laughs> having terrible time reading it. He's picking on me. You guys need to beat him up. Mm-hmm. I'll ban you. Hey. It's my toy, <laughs> not yours. Uh-huh. Just press this button. Ma... Se u... Toshi de... Masen Yen Dayo Yen Dayo Tashiwa Nio Tashiwa Nihon Chin
pretty cool looking hammer. I just hope they're not thinking I'm... Uh oh. I need that bad yeah. treasure. Is he gonna die? Uh huh. didn't make anyone mad. Uh, it's like I'm still learning. Are you dead? Chamber, which houses a little target, appears to be saturated with etheric energies. There is bound to be heavy and fierce. We still haven't talked to the schools. I really need to call them on Monday. <clears throat> yeah. I don't want to be able to be to, at that point where I just have no clue what anyone's doing or saying or anything. This is gonna be fun. I can't even reach the controls. What is it? Are you serious? Like, you're gonna make me push that button that's two feet above me? <laughs>
Play for looks myself. Like and the warriors of light. Doesn't he look like a bug? A bug? I think he looks like a bug. He looks like a uh, gargoyle. Or a wannabe Viking. The ones where they They've think. never had horns on their head. I know. I know. Remember we watched that one show. Have you guys ever watched like the horrible histories or something? The Brit in the BBC one? That's kind of fun to watch. You learn a bit. Even I didn't know that Vikings did not have those silly little hats. Sorry. そして神を呼ぶ対象として王が異性者が力なき弱者だからに争いの果てに強者が弱者を導く先にこそ未来があるのだ力なき弱者が民を打ち抜く and he's black and red on mine, and he's gold and black on yours. Oh, okay. You're further in the cutscene. You're further in the cutscene. He just powered up. Why we're not moving from this spot. But 
it don't matter. Indeed. Just let him walk away, it's fine. Just let him walk, you know, no big deal. Don't chase him or nothing. That the door shut too, yep, that's a great idea. Warriors of light, everybody. Let the bad guy walk away. Ultimate weapon is pretty cool. drives it? I didn't know he drove it. Yeah, there's a lot of details we don't remember from a long, long time ago. Because I never had time to watch the cutscene. Because everybody left me behind. Yeah, I think I actually remember that. I never watched the cutscene for any of these. Mm -hmm. We were here in the times when all this had to, down to happen. Where we didn't even get the chance because we were always left behind because we wanted to watch the cutscenes. Now that you're forced to watch it, it's kind of annoying, but interesting nonetheless because you get to see all these little detail details. Bleh. You know, why not stop him before he gets in it? You know, that'd have been an idea. You're standing on the thing's shoulder for how long? Yes, well, the gods of the storyline don't um, see fit to allow that. Now, do we have to switch off here? No, but you... <coughs> Oh, my apologies. Yeah, I realized my Japanese word of day is crap. Is it? Yeah. Same thing every day. No, I mean it gives it to me like right before the day even happens, and then when I try well, to look it up, you no, know, when I try to go, um, go to see it, it literally says that it's yesterday's. Because technically it's tomorrow. Uh, but that's not how it works. It goes by your phone. Mm. 
And if my phone says it's not morning, then they can't be doing that. I'm gonna go back and look at the video and I'm gonna translate that sentence. I'm still trying to figure out who this god they're trying to create. You see him? You see him? I don't think.
すがにこの者の身を守るので精一杯だったらしいなハイデリンよガイウス・バン・バエサル貴様の望む力は与えたさあ思う存分戦うがいいアシエン・ラハブレア貴様には戦いの後聞きたいことがあるしかし今はこの者らを倒し我に力ありと証明するどちらが真に持つ者なのか決着をつけようではないか冒険者When you do the crazy one. Yeah. 
That I never let her anywhere near the cats, usually. I can't even go there because it hurts my feelings. I can't stand going to this. Oh, I know. That's why I can't stand going to those places. Now we have to fight another. Oh, I forgot, yeah. I always think it ends with the end of the level. Nope. We get to beat up Labria. Thank you. What? Thank you. Tancred got possessed. Don't tell her! You're giving out spoilers. You see him throughout the game though. If you would have been paying attention. See, now you know you're good being bad. Sorry guys, if he ends up giving you spoilers when you're not supposed to have, have spoils, he's just that bad. Oh, Our youngest kitty is a fiend of headphones, mainly earbuds. He likes to try and chew them and eat them and steal the rubber off. Oh, yeah, she does lick your eyeballs. She says scary. This is the same paper in your eyes. She stood directly on my face when I She walked on me from my feet all the way up my head. I just jumped off. Doing, you little chubby brat. Mm. <laughs> I, like, I like that little symbol on his face. We call it a cosplay. Oh, I don't know those three. <laughs> my foot cat I basically sprained my ankle like a month ago and I'm still in a bit of pain when my foot goes stiff Ooh, and I leveled yay light party yeah considering the screen's completely white Oh, you can skip this one. I don't want to. I've never seen it. Now Heidelin's gonna say something to us.
<laughs> she's we you got a new toy today so she's she's bringing us her toy she's like hey play with me who's on my peeps Yeah, you'd make it so unepic. I want that robe. Like, I just want it to wear to work. I'd love to wear it as like a winter coat. That'd be the coolest looking thing. I bet you some people have done it. And then the mask too. The red, the red mask they all have. Oh boy, that'd be sweet. That'd be the coolest kid on the block. Everybody be asking me, hey, where'd you get those threads? What? Yeah, I got one accommodation. <laughs> oh, I did too. Ooh, I got three. Because you were the only healer that healed. Yeah, really. The only one who stood there, like, constantly grinding my heels on them. Maggie's like, come, pick up your friend, come with me. How? I'm two feet tall. He's about six feet. How am I going to pick him? Well, it's more like, ah, uh, it bends over, grabs it with its mouth, and like throws it up in the air. And yes. probably has like a whole bunch of abdominal bruises. I like this, uh, I this part of the game. It's a cool gas mask he's got. Can you imagine all the work you'd have to go through to just do, make that thing? This is always fun. Yeah, especially when everyone freaks out like, Are you alive, my Ch friend? Chasing by fire. Chasing Chased by fire. Every action, Every action movie does that. Crystal すべて失われたわけではありません。神言に潜む闇の神。かの者を消し去らない神。世界から闇が消えることはないでしょう。しかし、光の意志はエオルゼアに息吹きました。あなたを主として。キコキコ。この光の目は。いずれ大樹となる。この地を。はい、キコキコ。星を救うでしょう。You <笑> Get 
I thought they said bacon. Alright, 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 I'll put I you down. I thought they said V is a bacon of hope. Instead of <laughs> Shut up! Of bacon. Well, I told you, I can't read them all. Gotta catch them all. Oh, Pokemon. Refine my man! <laughs> she brought her toy back. We're gonna have to turn that into one of those little clip things. She loves that thing. But I want to take the bells off. Because that scares me. They made a toy that's perfect for a cat, but those bells are asking to get swallowed. I don't like him. Why? I don't like him. I never did. シードの今からでもエンタープライズを出せませんかあの冒険者とここにいる暁の結名は今の時代を生きる光の戦士たちなのです私たちはもう二度と光の戦士たちを失ってはなりません分かっていますってしかし無茶だあの爆発なんですよ
まだ戦いの火種は消えていないということかだが What? You got rid of the cool outfit? Give it to me! You know, that's one thing I never noticed. There's never any lullabies amongst the Ashens. She's more powerful. She's two feet of pure hate right there. Brutal. I know. アルテマウェポンを撃退し闇の勢力アッセンを退けたエオルゼアの当面の危機は回避されたと言えようこれらは賢者ルイゾワの意志を継いだ暁の決命とそこに加わった一人の冒険者の活躍によるものだ私たち
You would think Raban was the ruler. Yeah, they're just the grand company. Yo, yeah, well, you know, they're just the grand company. Yeah, well, well she's she, seen, seen as the leader. Well, Nanamo is like the highest. He's the military guy. I know, but that's the... So, he, so he's control of the great company and helps Donovo with decisions. Don't you talk to me that way. How dare you. I will. I think it's bedtime. That's what I think it is. Yeah, well, just like I said, need your baby. If I skip over this, will it get me to the next part? Mm -hmm. I... And it won't skip the other? What other one? There's like, like four. No, the bit in the back. The... If I skip the credits, we'll go to the part that you saw with the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Here we go. This is what I want you guys to see. We didn't really need to see the credits. Like a copy? Like the, the darker version? I don't know if it's a darker version, or I think that's Heidel and corrupted by darkness. Oh, and maybe that's the one true god that they're talking about? No, they tell you who it is. Yeah. しかし、何が原因かもわからないのでは。大変です。万神が新たな万神が活動を開始したとの報告がありました。I've never seen that one part. I mean, I've never seen their true god, whoever he is. Oh, we, haven't, we, we haven't seen it yet in any of, in any of the expansions. Oh? Yeah, not yet. Yeah, not yet. At, least At least I don't, I don't think so. But it's it it you learn about oh, here. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool to learn their language. Yeah. From Zaba. Logu Pao Egui Hashi. Hadon Zuru Ugi Udon. Me and Nick. Star which is in Mubut. Chiongi Kats. Yeah. 
hostility for And now we are into the next part, but I can't get there until we do a whole bunch of quests and get into it. Let me get the primals. Primals, you, primals, you unlock primals. afterwards. Mm-hmm. Oh, and look, they, they're they're pink, just like a mm -hmm. with the dog. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here we go. I don't like a blue mage. Good for you. I probably won't. Blue mage is the best mage. Uh, just the the whole fact you of what. Just go up to a monster and say, and say punch, punch me. And it runs up and punches you. Now, now I know how to punch you, just like you punched me. And then you do it to him and kill him. All right, you shut up. Stop! Get excited. No. The Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the salvation. Their findings strongly suggest that a new primal has appeared. The roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the Aether, a pattern observed only once before in history. Five years ago, to be precise, I should like to think mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount that possibility. Well, I trust I need to say no more. A great sacrifice we have delivered Eorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals, and thereby secured peace. We cannot well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. You've given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on I know not how many occasions, yet our struggle continues, and we need you now no less than before. Please continue to stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm of this very star. Yay. <sighs> what? I can hear it right through the mic. Get mad at me. Yeah. yeah. What are you not mad at me? No. No. Hmm, I get high. It pleases me to see you well. I love her. She's so great. <laughs> She's got the highest voice ever. It's like, Do you ex do excuse me for interrupting you, Giha? My lady, the gentleman from Ash Ghana Exports has just left. I understand now why you didn't want to receive him. You did well, Tataru. Please inform the guards that we will not be receiving any further guests this afternoon. Thank you, my lady. Ever since we defeated Gaius von Belsar and destroyed the ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world have followed our every move, scarce remembering to blink. Where once we worked in secret with precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged by benefactors, each one more eager than the last to offer us his complete support. True embarrassment of riches. Of course, every promise of patronage comes with a price. Some make their intentions known from the start, while others endeavor to engage us more subtly. Dress it how they will, the message is ever the same, we shall help you, but only if you help us. The gentleman Tataro spoke of was more brazen than most. In exchange for certain supplies, he would have us resolve a business dispute. Naturally, I refused him as I have every other merchant of his ilk. Last the syndicate's overtures are not so easily rejected. When we reformed the signs of the Seventh Dawn, it was with the goal of serving Eorzea, not the interests of individual Eorzeans. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause. My heart, I know this to be true, and yet, and yet, if accepting these other offers of patronage could endeavor and empower us to do greater good, might they not warrant greater consideration? 
Our Baldessian colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to. Forgive me, I did not mean to burn you. Yet my urge to share this dilemma may not be wholly misguided. Might I impose upon you to consult the others? They are like to have their own opinions on this matter. Hmm? We need seven, we need seven, seven more achievements, achievements to 100% this, this game on this station. You'll have, You'll every, have trophy every trophy you can get. You need seven, seven, seven more. I'm confused. I'm not really into getting the achievements of that. No, I know, but look, you're 82% you're complete. complete. No, no, 98% 98 98 complete. complete. And I'm like 20%. Look. <laughs> Look, see, that's what you get when you get all of them, a realm restored. You only got seven. Thousand love quests. Tyria stuff. Guild tests. Alright, alright. No, that's cool. I just want to let you know. Nah. I know you have scarce had a chance to rest, but I am afraid there is still work to do. The Ultima Weapons Destruction Twid Seam has served to embolden the Beastmen who now seek to call down their gods once more. Even as we speak, the Malja, the Ixal, and the Kobolds are making preparations for their respective summoning rites, and that is but the half of it. Much to our dismay, all three tribes were somehow able to procure vast quantities of crystals. Oh, my turn to say something. Ahem. Basically, this means the primals will be stronger than they were before. Far, far stronger. Their pre um, previous incarnations will seem as pale and potatious. Imitations, black. The beast tribes, we believe, began hoarding crystals with a vengeance in the wake of the Ultima Weapons maiden appearance. You will remember that as the time it devoured three primals in one sitting. The grand companies are aware of the potential primal outbreak. Last, due to the losses they incurred to ensure the success of Operation Archon, they are ill-equipped to take any meaningful measures. After deliberation, the leaders concluded that they must needs turn to us once more to the The etheric waves that were observed in Mordona do not appear to bear a connection to any beast tribe. Yet much and more still remains beyond our knowing we must be prepared for all possibilities. I am loath to send you into the midst of danger again so soon, but none have proven themselves more capable against the primals than you. Will you undertake this mission again, huh? You have my thanks. I truly do not know what we would do without you. Go ahead, Finkrid. Ahem. <coughs> With circumstances as they were, I haven't had the chance to properly express my gratitude. I owe you my life, Ageha. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. A string of failures had left me feeling powerless. I wanted to be stronger, that I might do right by my fellow scions. But instead, it caused you all no end of grief and suffering. I swear to you, it shan't happen again. Owing to everyone's ministrations, I am quite recovered now. I hope to return to my duties again soon. Thank Grid's return marks the beginning of a new chapter for the Scions. Let us renew the fire in our hearts and continue to press forever forward. Now then, back to the matter of the primals with f no fewer than three of the beings threatening to appear it is easy to feel overwhelmed we must take it one sh one sure step at a time Rianjer has the overview of the situation as it stands please speak with him to receive guidance on your mission I confess I am conflicted and may be wise and sold with the others. She had another quest though. The air conditioner is blowing in my mic and I can hear it. It might be. I don't know. Better now? Better now? 
Hmm? Yeah, it's mine. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna close the party. Okay. You suck. Well, we gotta get up early tomorrow for, uh... D&D. &D. Yeah, well, yeah, if well, you're, you're gonna bring home something, something, you better bring home the right stuff. And if you don't, you have to call me to tell me what kind I want. Meanie. And don't hog the donuts. In what? Don't hog the donuts. No, they're not. I'm gonna get a dozen just, just for me. Shut up. I'm gonna eat them. Shut up. Bye bye. Recall you are meeting with the Admiral shortly after the Lemonsons sent word of the summoning of the Titan. Then mayhap you also recall my words to our host. I said unto Merlewib that her people had broken their treaty with the Kobolds and that the beastmen had justly responded that we had been called to intervene in a conflict which she herself had invited. I spoke in short the truth. And wherefore did I speak it? Because owing no allegiance to Limsa, I felt no compulsion to allow the Lamentsons to distort the facts to fit a narrative which justified their actions and absolved them of guilt. Upon the subject, Memphilia can expect a similar reply. Our many dalliances with the city-states have already weakened our claim to neutrality, but the path she contemplates would see us relinquish it for entirely. Fortune begets power and power fortune. That we, and especially you, have power is beyond doubt. The question is what to do with it. You may be interested to know that there is... Sorry. Jeez. It's a growing belief amongst the refugees that Alamigo could be liberated if only the Scions would commit their strength to the cause. Yet theirs is but one of many causes. We stand at a crossroads, a geha. Each path is paved with good intentions, but where they lead is far from clear. Okay. None can deny that we would benefit from more support, but if it comes at the cost of our principles, neutrality was ever a delicate matter. I've lost count of the times I've had to explain to people that our allegiances na need not necessarily lie in the same places, place as our headquarters, mind you. If we are to sell our services for Gil, we might as well declare our fealty to Uldah now and have done with it. I'm quite sure Ida would enjoy the bribes. <laughs> I've been receiving a lot of gifts lately, and but Papalimo keeps making me send them back. It wouldn't be so bad, but some of them are really nice. I mean, very nearly abandon your principles nice, you know? Such knowledge as I possess of the beast tribes and the primals is at thy disposal. Whether man or beast man, uh, we are wont to seek power when plunged into the black depths of despair. That despair doth begin with Amalja, who may have already summoned forth Ifrit. With our comrade Thancred now return, thou wouldst do well to seek his counsel. Tis the lot of the powerful to attract the co um, covetous, as well as the needy thus doth prudence take that those with power prefer aid with one hand whilst the other resteth ever on their hilt. Last we have not the luxury of time to decipher our petitioners machinations nay, nay not while the beast tribes do labor unseen defiant in defeat to raise up their fallen primals once more. Doubt not that they shall return stronger and bolder both, nor that we shall be the ones to meet them. This sacred charge shall ever be ours. Tis but a pity we are so few, and our fortune so finite. Friend to the dawn, hear my plea. Tidings most ominous arrive from Gridania. A primal walk at the shroud. Those who have borne the eldritch spirit witness and return to tell the tale avow that ne'er ne before have they seen its like the god's quiver doth investigate as we speak and meseems bolord lewin would welcome a capable adventurer's helping hand pray he thee to the seat of the first bow 
and shine thy light upon the matter. Confirmation has just arrived from the immortal flames. Tis as Arian Chair said, I fear the Amalja have already summoned Ifrit. A confrontation with the Lord of the Infernal is inevitable. I would like nothing more than to lend you my blade, but the students of Baldessian insisted that I refrain from taking to the field where it concerns primals. I know not the workings of it, but it would seem that recent events have left me especially susceptible to tempering. As much as I hate missing out on the fun for everybody's sake, I must sit this one out. Said I will focus on gathering and analyzing data. Now the immortal flames have already conducted a preliminary investigation into Ifrit. They may well have information that will be of use to you. Do pay a visit to the Hall of Flames to speak with Commander Swift. One last thing before you depart. Doubtless you remember Menphilia's words, but this Ifrit is a far cry from the primal you first defeated. You will want to assemble your most dependable comrades for the mission. Be safe, my friend. Mm -mm. Hmm, this situation is not wholly unexpected. I too have given much thought to our organization's future, though it would seem I have reached a different conclusion. Mayhap it is time I made my feelings known to the antecedent. Come along, Ageha. Alpha Node, Ageha is Otimus. You desired counsel, and so you shall have it. Menphilia, the signs of the seventh dawn must leave Ulda. We must do what? So long as we remain within Ulda territory, we will never be free to act with impunity. Moving our headquarters to Vesper Bay only delayed the inevitable. We have demonstrated our capabilities, and the Syndicate has taken note they will not suffer our organization to remain independent now. We are far too dangerous for that. Surely you realize they are the reason Vesper Bay still lacks an Aetherite. They know full well how beneficial one would be to our cause. Which is why it and other favors will be denied us unless we cooperate. If Ulda is no longer suitable, where would you have us go? Experience has taught us that the appearance of neutrality is as important as the reality. Accordingly, we must keep each of the great nations at arm's length and plant our banner in a place which all agree to be beyond their borders. Mordona Remnants told to be precise. It lies within neutral territory and offers all the essential facilities we require. By way of an additional benefit, it is also frequented by a veritable legion of adventurers who may serve to supplement our ranks. I am of course conscious of the fact that we have developed a certain bond with Ulda and her people, people over the years, but I truly believe this to be the best course of action. As you yourself observed, we have invaluable ties to the local community, forged through years of concerted effort. Ulda, Ulda is our home, Alphanode. To cast aside everything we have built and start anew in that desolate wasteland would be beyond reckless. The decision is yours to make, Antecedent. I ask only that you recall the shared purpose which first moved us to found the Science of the Seventh Dawn and which moved you to found the Path of the Twelve ere that. We aspire to an ideal, you and I, just as my grandfather did. That makes us more than mere comrades in arms. We're as much to your family as... That will be all, Afanod. I'm sure you have some familial affairs of your own to attend to. Your concern is most generous, but no, I have left them in the hands of men better suited to the test than I. 
I could not very well allow my personal affairs to come before the needs of the order after all. Ooh, I think he just gave her a burn. Hi, Kiko Kiko. Evil Daw, has it truly come to this? Hmm. Oh, Ageha, pray attend to Alphno. He is engaged in some business or other and requires your assistance. Pray be on your way. Alphanode waits upon you, and I have much to think about. Oh, and tell him he shall have my answer in due time. Found it. She knows what must be done, and still she hesitates. All because of these fanciful rumors. Hmm, I should explain. Mephili's mother, well, adopted mother, was among the great many who perished during the calamity. Philhamine was her name, though you may know her better as the songstress of Old Da. She was a performer of singular talent and much beloved by the people of Eorzea, not to mention a certain Charlayan minstrel. She may in Imagine the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief by her adoring followers, many of whom refused to acknowledge what had happened. That her body was never found only served to encourage speculation. Minfilia too struggled at first to accept the truth, but as Philomene absence stretched from months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. Until recently, at any rate, for whatever reason, rumors have once again begun to circulate that Philhamin is alive and well. Alas, they have served to rekindle an irrational hope in Menphilia, which now clouds her judgment. This talk of Ulda as our home and of the insurmountable difficulties of moving to Mordona is not more than an exception of her unwillingness to let go, nonsense in a word, but until tales of Fiamine's miraculous preservation have been categorically disproved, I fear she will remain lost to reason. That being the case, I, per I, propose, I propose we set about disproving them post haste. Let's see how these fanciful claims stand up to investigation. One of the most recent of this latest crop of rumors comes to us by way of Father Iliad. Question him for me, I shall look into another alleged sighting and following on. Okay, I have D&D &D tomorrow, so I need to get up early because the guys are going to come over and I got to prepare the table. And hopefully by Monday I will be back with instructions on the giveaway. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a great night and get plenty of rest and water and just I can't wait to see you this Monday. Until then... Shana!